Okay, so who remembers when furnaces were very simple to work on? Let's just look at what exactly a furnace was once made of. So, right here, the thermostat would be connected. We rip these all that way because they're just in the way, but seriously, this is W. This is common. So, R. So, you get a signal here. You get to here. And then you're going to activate your gas valve. So this is going to come straight to gas valve, W to gas valve, gas valve fires. Okay. Now that your gas valve fires, as long as your thermocouple, here's your thermocouple and your pilot assembly down in there. As long as it's sensing flame, it's going to open your gas valve. Your gas valve then is going to send gas into the burners, turn it on. So now that your burners are burning now all your furnace is doing is waiting for it to warm up with your fan limit no computer boards this thing right here is a fan limit now what this thing's doing okay I'll just give you a pain to break out I could break it if I want I don't want to so I mean these are the wires that are going down to my fan. As you can see I pulled right down the fan, I turned the fan on. This is an old fan limit. So they go on down. Let me just chop the wires. Figure out the better. This will also break the gas valve. Down here's your limit. One of them is breaking the gas valve. And the other side, off of that, comes up to your roll out here chimney spill switch right here off the chimney spill switch and it ties in to common so that breaks your common that's all your controls right there there's nothing else here i mean now we have computer boards all these problems i mean seriously here our biggest problem was a family failing into here you would think oh my goodness let's see what kind of computer boards here but there is no computer board look at that beautiful relay that is what I'm talking about this relay is what controls the unit and you pick what your motor speed is gonna be off of what you're powering off of up there Now if you activate G for cooling, you're activating your fan relay down here. If you're not, if it's a heat call, it's getting activated off your fan relay here, which is the just a thermal Let's bend this a little. I'd like to show you guys a nice thermal disc. How things you use to operate. difficulties removing the screw. Okay, there we go. We are now on our way out. This thermal 
little disc is what would turn our fan on. I have to really cut it, yes. This, off the temperature, would make or break our switch. So I mean, back in the day, this was, this is your main control. All off of temperature. Now everything's off of a logic board with timers. I mean, systems are not like they once were. This was the good old days, and then you get the old timers saying, oh, you would never survive in my day. Yeah, okay, whatever. Seriously, you got a gas valve, maybe, maybe it goes bad or something, who knows. You get a bad fan relay, maybe that goes bad, who knows. I mean, there's nothing here. So, what is the hardest thing to troubleshoot here? Is it a relay? It either makes or breaks. Or power. So intermittent problems I don't see as being a problem. Or this. It either makes or breaks. With the thermal disc heating up and turning on the unit. Then you got your fan control center. Up here. Change your blower motor. There's nothing here, also. Two. Yeah, loud. And three. Yeah. But you see what I'm gonna do, and then I'll pull it out. I'm just gonna save that. But till next time. Who misses the days when? Furnaces were easy. And then, you want to see your heat exchanger? You just look in. You just look in there. And you can see the heat exchanger and you look up. Now you need cameras and stuff like that to see in. Well, until next time, I'm Bill and I'm out.